now we are going to start with uh, an interesting um, set of uh, topics which are dealing with what is a buzzword these days. It's more like a fad to look at it superficially, but it's uh, a very, very intricate and relevant uh, uh, technological evolution which is taking place. That is IoT. Everyone's talking about uh, IoT. Uh, so we'd look at the Internet of Things provisioning in the context of uh, NGN, and we'll see how IoT transforms into uh, WOT or Web of Things. So we'll, we'll look at the classical definition, which was coined by the International Telecommunication Union. So ITUT defined the Internet of Things as a very interesting concept. So uh, ITUT states that uh, Internet of Things is a global infrastructure uh, for the information society, which is the web users world over, to enable uh, advanced uh, service provisioning uh, by interconnecting the physical world with the cyber world. So it's sometimes also known as cyber physical system. Um, so the beauty about uh, ITUT standardization of IoT definition is that it emphasizes on standardization, uh, which is certainly going to be in line with the uh, contemporary evolution and advancements of uh, information and communication technologies. Um, so extending or building on to the definition of uh, IoT, uh, Web of Things is the merger of uh, web with IoT because IoT in itself is connectivity of things. But if this connectivity of things is exposed to and is uh, managed from and provisioned at the World Wide Web or the Internet, it becomes um, Web of Things. So uh, Web of Things is the concept that makes use of IoT infrastructure presence where the things are connected and controlled using the classical uh, World Wide Web based technologies. And first thing that comes to your mind, uh, which is not going to be wrong, is uh, um, TCP IP and HTTP. So uh, let's quickly look at uh, possibly the things. Uh, if that's a mystery, so let's resolve it here. So we have uh, the things literally meaning everything. It could be a static or a dynamic thing. It could be a physical or a virtual thing. A physical thing actually means something that you can sense using your um, physical senses or virtual that you can feel. So uh, these things actually generate data uh, which can be stored, uh, processed, and accessed by other things. Uh, devices, including uh, end hosts, gateways, even the networks, are all included in these things. The underlying technologies which are going to facilitate the transmission of uh, data coming from the things themselves are also the things. For example, Ethernet technology and all the hardware and the infrastructure that realizes Ethernet, uh, the sensor network, the ad hoc network, um, reader and writer, that is the uh, subscriber or the publisher, and the sensing and actuating devices, um, industrial machines, smartphones, electrical appliances, softwares, plugins, you name a thing. So uh, the relationship between uh, Internet of Things and Web of Things is referenced through um, four layers. That is, uh, we have the application layer that contains the IoT applications. If these applications are working at their own in a proprietary setting, it is IoT, but if it is published on HTTP, it becomes WOT. Then at the second layer, we've got service support and application uh, uh, support layer. So here we have the underlying infrastructure that allows us to have the data processed, uh, stored, retrieved, read, transmitted. Uh, then we have the network layer. This includes the uh, 
transport and access technologies, uh, resource and admission control, uh, authentication authorization and uh, access mechanisms, and of course, the mobility management. Uh, lastly, we've got the device layer itself, uh, which comprises uh, devices and the uh, connectivity of the devices to each other and to the network through certain intermediaries. These intermediaries are known as the gateways. Uh, so the connectivity could be direct or indirect or even ad hoc, that is on the fly. And uh, then the device layer also addresses the support for multiple underlying technologies, each having its own uh, exposed interface, for instance, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, um, et cetera, et cetera. Then uh, we have certain uh, interoperability requirements, which is also the responsibility of the device layer, because sometimes the device uh, layer has devices which cannot communicate to the uh, uh, layer above directly, so we need some uh, protocol conversion functions. So let's uh, uh, compile and uh, summarize the discussion we had uh, by stating that uh, the IoT actually adds altogether a new dimension to the NGN architecture, uh, because uh, in NGN we were talking about anytime communication and anywhere communication. But if if instead of end hosts talking to each other on smartphone or on a tablet or a laptop, if it is anything communicating anywhere at any time, then this is we can say epitome of uh, the Internet of Things and Web of Things. So you can have a, just have a look at the diagram.